So many things has been said about aflatoxin this morning. As a student, I knew about aflatoxin. And just after school, there was one time a program that was advertised, I think World Food uh, pro Program, and they wanted maize. I read it in the papers, and when I made a background check, follow-up and all those things, I was interested at the time. But when I got to the office, they told me the limitation was aflatoxin. If you can get us maize, that will not contain aflatoxin. You can do this. That was just after school. And at that point, I knew how serious aflatoxin has been. Prof has just talked about the publication that was made in uh, the dailies some years back about aflatoxin uh, contaminated kenke that we were consuming. And I remember it was a very serious discussion during the period. The story has not changed. So much has been said about aflactosin uh, today. And I'm happy to know that there, at least it was mentioned that there is a traditional way of managing it. It means that we have known about it and we know the consequences. At the top, it is known, but down there, it is not known. There has been a number of interventions to manage aflactosin. I think we have reached another level for it, and we are making progress. This morning, I've been very excited because we have been told that aflactoxin can be managed up to 80 to 100 percent with aflasafe GH02. That is a big relief to those of us who are into the food chain. Because like the policy person pointed out, there has been policies to address it. But the issue is that it is not known at the grassroots. She hit the nail on the head rightly that it must be evidence-based. Show the people the effect of aflactosin. When they are hit hard, they will appreciate it, and then it will be taken seriously. To me, I describe it as a slow poison. In Ghana, we understand what slow poisons are. And when we relate these things in this way, I think that the message will go down. We, in the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, are ready to collaborate with all relevant stakeholders to spread the good message of Aflasif GH02.